Hi guys, Jared here with Day Traders FX. We're getting a little bit of a late start on the daily video today, but fortunately not a lot has happened except for, as we can see in the headlines here, uh, the Eurozone has reached uh, a little bit of deal uh, satisfaction with uh, Greece, it looks like. Um, and so, uh, so, so that that's causing a little bit of a rally in the euro. We're going to look at that in just a moment. Uh, overall, we've seen today has been a pretty, pretty flat to negative day. The Dow's been down, S and P's down, uh, oil's kind of just still in that 85 to 90 uh, consolidation channel that it's been stuck in for quite some time. Um, this has been all the Euro Group meetings. Uh, been definitely uh, affecting the markets. There's been a lot of waiting and a lot of watching and so on. Uh, a couple of things to look at: revised GDP coming out for the UK. Durable goods. This is a big mover for the US as well as consumer confidence. So we should have a pretty active morning tomorrow. So be ready for that. So let's look at this euro dollar, uh, and as we can see, it is in rally mode right now. So again, we, we we've seen a little bit of positive news from uh, from from Greece and and out of the eurozone. Uh, but where does that take us? Where does that put this at a possible uh, as a possible entry? So a couple of things that I am looking at personally is this weekly chart right here. We still have our 38% fib. If we go from high to low of the last uh, kind of two-year run here, our 38% fib still is at about 131.50. Uh, but you can see that the euro dollar is coming nicely into contact with this, uh, the, the top of this channel, the top of this big descending trend line. Uh, there's a lot of resistance right there, and I think it's going to be a tough level to get through. So what I'm looking at here is right around this kind of double top area is just about 131.00 um, and even 130.00. Uh, 75 ish in, into that general area these are all areas that I would start to get very very concerned about some reversals as far as right this moment I don't know that we have a really great entry because this is kind of this is kind of bumping around it's trying to break the high we have a little four hour reversal candle hidden in, in the weekly pivots that we can't really see too well there uh, but that's in there and, and as we start to kind of break that uh, we will probably see this thing rally up into about 130.50 maybe. We're currently sitting at about 130.06, uh, so we're just barely above 130. Um, so again, 130.50 to 130.75 are kind of kind of be areas that I'm going to look to get short with stops up above uh, up above some of these highs here, which we have around 131.40, 131.50. So so again, about 130, you know, 75 gives us a big long-term uh, uh, opportunity to start shorting this euro. I think this thing's going to be coming down, uh, especially as it comes into kind of this weekly channel and some of this upper resistance. So it's going to be a tough level. So that's kind of the longer term view, looking to get short in about another 50 to 75 pips higher than current market price. Once again, right around 130, you know, 50 to 130.75. Uh, but for the moment, what are we going to do here? So we have a nice little short term one hour trend line. We have a couple of things. Uh, we have a missed daily pivot down here. We know that the market has a very strong tendency to make it back to those missed daily pivots. This missed daily pivot's at 12800, 12799, right in that general area. So that's going to be thing number one that we're going to be watching for. Number two, we've got a nice little trend line right here that, uh, that, that this pair has kind of continued to test and just kind of bump up uh, against here and so on. So this is going to start to be just probably a little bit of a short term area that we can start aiming for about 120. 15, which is the weekly pivot. So um, at this point, I'm looking for a break of the trend line and, and an open below this daily pivot right here, which is around 12970. It's it's just just shy of 12970. We could we could say it's 129, you know, 65 to 12970. But below this, I'm getting pretty interested in shorting this down towards the weekly pivot. Uh, there's about a 50 pip run. Once again, that's a, a target of about 12900, uh, or excuse me, 12915. And we would have our stops uh, uh, up above uh, these highs right here. So we're going to be looking at you know a little bit of a larger stop, but I think we've got about a 50 pip run down into that weekly pivot if we get below the daily pivot here, which is around 129.70. So be watching for that, for that opportunity to short this euro and take it back down into that area. So very nice setup. Uh, as you know, I haven't traded the pound dollar a lot lately, uh, but one thing I just want to say, we do have some news coming out of the UK, the revised GDP, which will be out in several hours. Uh, and then likewise, we have this little channel right here that this pound dollar has been bumping around in. Uh, and so in this little channel, I think we've got a nice opportunity. We have a big reversal candle, and the pound dollar has been coming down since it reached that. Uh, and that high is way back here, about 161.75. I'm looking to get right around uh, the, the top of this channel here, 
turned to about 160, 75, somewhere in that general area. You can see we're at about 160, 37 right now. So about 160, 75, 160, 80. Um, I'm going to watch price action, look for some reversal candles and so on. But I'm going to start looking for opportunities to short the pound dollar uh, once again right up around that 160, 20 or, or 75, 80 area. Uh, I think these are going to be some nice long-term, uh, you know, uh, uh, reversal points and, and runs down. So that's what I'm looking at there. Euro yen has uh, the euro yen has just had this crazy. It, it's just gone sideways for weeks and weeks and weeks, and it's had these two weeks of just craziness, and it ran straight up. In the process of running straight up, the euro yen hasn't for months and months missed a weekly pivot. And when it did, the last time it did, which was in around July, uh, it took about a month to come back to it. So we could be looking at something like that. But we have a missed weekly pivot right here at about 10300, just 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 below 10300. So this is kind of a looming target uh, that that the euro yen may be headed towards. Now the first big point I think is going to be about 10450. You can see that we have uh, some of these highs. There's a 38 percent from this low to that high right there. So about 104.50 is going to be a first target, but if we get to that point, uh, 103.00 uh, could be the next one there. Uh, we have a little bit of a reversal candle pattern here. We'll see if this can hold out and play out, uh, but this is telling us that this euro yen may be ready to start retracing just a little bit. I'm not ready for my entry just yet, um, but uh, these are just a couple of things that I'm looking at. So trading against that high of this candle is going to kind of be the goal. It's a little ways off. That's around 107.15. Uh, it's about 45 or 50 pips away. We'll see if this thing gets a little bit higher, and I'm probably going to start looking for just a little short-term uh, opportunity to short this down below. Now, if it breaks this high, I think we're going to be heading nicely up into the channel uh, top here, which is around 107, 80, 90, 10800, right in that general area. So we could have another, you know, 70 to 80 pips to go if we break this high. Um, but uh, but I, I think there's I think there's some good opportunity to look for uh, some reversals off of this daily chart and off of that area there to start making our way down towards some of these missed pivots, daily pivots and weekly pivots. So I'm slowly but surely getting a little bit bearish on the euro yen, but it's not there just yet. Aussie dollar uh, has been running like crazy. This Aussie dollar just doesn't seem to stop at all. Uh, and it's been heading straight up um, just just really the last part of last week. Um, and then it's it's had a nice little run uh, the last uh, several hours here as well. Aussie dollar, I like this. You know, it's been so choppy and there's not really any steady, smooth trading opportunities on here. Really what it turns out to be is a lot of, you know, get in and weather the storm and hope you're going in the right direction. And so what I'm looking for here, you can see around 105. 80 is right around the top here. Our high extends up to around 106, 20, 25 or so. But around 105.80, uh, between 105.50 and 105.80 is where I'm going to start looking for opportunities to short this Aussie dollar. So if we go up to here, here's 105.50 right here. Uh, we're only about 70 pips away from that. Um, we're kind of in this middle zone once again. So I don't think we have a really great opportunity to do too much right here. But once we get up into that 105.50 to 105.80 area, I'm going to be shorting with stops above the high to see if I can ride this thing back down to about um, to, to 10400 will be my first target, and then ultimately to around 10320 uh, and, and and beyond. But that's a little bit out. Um, for the moment, for the very shortest term trade, what I'll be looking for is this daily pivot right here, which is around 104.55. Now we're off that by about 30 pips, but 104.55, if we get an open below this on the one hour chart, I think we have a good chance to run into this weekly pivot, which is a quick 25 pip trade. That's all I'm looking for. Nothing too exciting there. Um, and then you can see that uh, the Aussie yen has, has started to go pretty strong and pretty crazy. Uh, we still have a nice reversal candle here on the Aussie yen as well on the daily chart, so that's looking good. A couple of these pairs have some nice, you know, little reversal candles that uh, uh, the yen pairs pretty much all uniformly have about the same setup. Uh, so if one reverses, there's a pretty good chance we're going to see all of them reverse. So, um, so, so that's what we'll be looking for there. I think we've got some great opportunities for some long-term trades in the setups. You can see that a lot of them are around uh, anywhere from 30 to about 70 pips away. So there's some short-term trades with a daily pivot, you know, like euro dollar below the daily pivot here, uh, Aussie dollar below the daily pivot here. Um, 
um, and just trading it to the to those weekly pivots and those are anywhere from uh, 25 to 50 pip profit targets so some quick little runs there but I think we've got some great moves in the works I'm really looking forward to some of these setups and uh, we'll have more details coming but be, be ready and be aware of these and uh, be ready to get some entries going and I'll have more details coming out on Twitter remember you can follow me at twitter.com forward slash daytradersfx best of luck everyone and we'll see you in the chat